Hi and welcome to my video on how to utilize an iPad for school. So I got an iPad Pro 10.7 inch and 64 gigabytes for Christmas and then I bought myself an Apple Pencil and honestly it, I've been using it for a few weeks and it's been so useful for schoolwork and kind of all different aspects of my school life. So today I'm going to be giving you a few tips and tricks and I'll be showing you how I use my iPad for school. So the first thing I'll be showing you is this amazing app called Notability and as the name probably implies this is a note taking app and I absolutely love it. It feels really natural and more importantly the notes look really natural. Like if I bring up these notes I made uh, recently on chemistry you can see obviously my handwriting's not amazing but it matches my handwriting perfectly and it looks really natural. And if we go and make a new note, you can see you have loads of options in terms of like pen sizes, pen colours, all that jazz, you know, it's really useful. And there's also different colours highlighters and things. And you can also draw straight lines, which is really obviously useful for diagrams and everything. And what's really cool is you can bring up a zoom tool so that you can write and it, you know, zooms in for you. And what's really neat is that if you write, it automatically moves on for you. And so it's really great for when you're taking notes and it looks really natural. What's obviously really great is if you have a document you want to import like online or something or a PDF that you've been sent, you can just copy it over to Notability and make a new note with it. And you can immediately start annotating it and, you know, doing all the blah blah blah, blah that you want with it. So it's really, really useful Notability and I use it loads, like I've imported all my different, you know, specs, all my different subjects into it. I just, it's really useful for having everything all in one place, like your textbooks and things. So this next tip actually just involves the Notes app, and it's the secret scanner functionality of the Notes app. So if you go into Notes and you press this plus button down here, you can scan a document, and if I just get this document here, you can really easily just take a picture of it and it automatically finds the borders of the document for you and it edits it to make it look really natural so as you can see it scans it like this and looks perfect so what's really useful is you can send that over to Notability and you can annotate it immediately straight away in Notability so it's really useful, I use this a lot you know when I'm scanning documents I have to work on or I'm scanning documents to send over to a friend if they've missed some work you know it's really useful for loads of different things and yeah so I use the scanner a lot and it's one of the you know I think it's one of the best hidden features of iOS 11 and so it's great and another really important thing for me is syncing my school email to my iPad. So I think this goes without saying, but a lot of people don't actually have their school email on their devices and they have to jump through so many weird hoops in terms of, you know, using web clients. And it's just so much effort. So I always make sure my school email is on my iPad. So that means if a teacher, you know, sends me a document, I can stay on top of it. Any kind of announcements and things, I can stay on top of them. And it also means if I have a document I want to send to a teacher, or if I just want to send a teacher anything, I can really easily just, you know, go in from any of the apps, send them a document over email, like this is from Notability, and it's really useful. So, I know in my school it's a bit difficult to get your school email on your device, and you have to configure a few things, but if you can find out how to do it, I think it's really, really important, and I just find it saves so much time. So this next tip involves an app that is so versatile and so powerful, honestly I'm surprised most people don't talk about it. There's an app called Workflow and what it allows you to do is automation and I didn't really understand what that meant at first but basically it connects loads of different apps together and you can do so many different functions to make things easier. So if you have anything on your iPad that you do repeatedly such as send a particular email or make a certain calendar entry or something then Workflow can make that easier. So basically what you do is you take these different actions for different apps, like, you know, um, if we take documents, we can, you know, create a folder or filter through files and things. So yeah, you drag in different actions and inputs and stuff, and it looks confusing, but it's quite simple. It's just that there's so much you can do with it, it looks quite overwhelming. So one workflow I've made is to send my teachers emails automatically because I often have to miss lessons for a violin lesson. So I can tap here, I can choose which lesson I'm missing and it automatically writes out an email for me that I can send to the teacher. So it's really, really, really useful to, you know, automate things and do things automatically and just, you know, save time. Um, it's really kind of hard to comprehend and explain how it works. 
but you know, it basically just connects those different apps together and makes things much simpler and much easier. The next tip is talked about quite a lot, but it's actually so underappreciated, and that's to store all your documents in the cloud. So I use both iCloud Drive, which is built into all Apple devices, and Google Drive to store my documents, and it's a saviour, honestly. It means I can work on my documents on my phone, my iPad, computer, and even at school. There's obviously websites for both iCloud Drive and Google Drive, and I cannot tell you the amount of times I've forgotten to send like a document to myself to print at school to hand in, or I've forgotten to email it to a teacher or something, and these Drive apps have really saved me, so I definitely recommend it. And what's even better is that Notability has options to share to both Google Drive and to iCloud Drive, and one thing you can actually do is automatically back up to iCloud Drive or to Google Drive, so you can automatically back them up as soon as you make a note, and so it's really great because you can have all your notes with you wherever you go and you can really integrate the cloud into like everything you do. So finally, reminders. I use reminders for literally everything I do to stay on top of my life just because of how simple and versatile they are. So at night, if I need to, if I need to remember to do something in the morning, like pack some shoes, I'll just set myself a reminder to do that in the morning. Or I can, you know, set myself a reminder for when I get home. And what I find really useful is that reminders also lets you set reminders based on location. So I can do a reminder to say, you know, when you get to school, go and speak to a teacher, or when you get to school, go and hand in a book. So it's really, really versatile, and, you know, I just use it all the time, because I've got a lot of stuff going on in my life, and so sometimes I just need to remind myself of things. And what's really great is that they sync over iCloud, so if I set reminders on my iPad, I'll also be reminded on my iPhone. So it's really useful to just, you know, stay on top of everything with all my devices, and just keep my life in check. Because if I didn't, I would literally collapse. So it's just great. I use reminders all the time. So there you have it. There are all my tips and tricks for how I use my iPad for school. Um, as always, please let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions or if you have any tips and tricks of your own. And just let me know what you think. Alright, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you very soon. Goodbye.